Let's look at Azure Media Services version 3 using Azure Portal. In this demo, we will take a look at creating a resource group and media services account, uploading and encoding a video, streaming and playing back a video using Azure Media Player. Let's create a resource group. Name it Media Services Demo. Leave the UTGN as is and review and create. Once the resource group is created, let's create an Azure Media Services account. Search for Media Services. Go ahead and click create. Here you need to specify media services account name. We will leave the location default. And each media services account requires a storage account. So go ahead and create a storage account name. The only change we make here is account kind. It will be general purpose v2 and leave the default option as is once the storage account is created select the created storage account we will skip enable classic api option at the moment we might cover it in a later videos the same with system manage identity as well so leave the default options and check the box for agreement and hit review and create. Creating a media service account might take up to 10 minutes. Once it's created, click go to resource. The overview page provides basic information about media services and how to get started. For our demo purpose, we will create a job. This job basically is an encoding job. For the input selection, you can either provide a file as an input or an external URL. Once you select the file, depending on the file size, it takes longer for you to upload a file. At this point, we are just uploading a source video file. Once the upload is complete, you can select the file. Create new transformation and give it a name, basic transform, an optional description and we are creating a basic encoding transform. There are other transforms available but at this point we are just interested in basic encoding. For the built-in preset select adaptive streaming and give it your job name and you can find a priority in this case. I'll just set it high. Once the job is created, you can go and take a look at the transforms plus job. And expand the basic transform one. And you can see that our job to encode the video is currently in progress. Again, depending on the file size, this might take longer. Now our job is finished. So you can click on asset name in order to navigate to your asset. So 
So now you're currently in assets view. This view provides very critical information about your asset. So first thing to note here is streaming locator none and there is a tag private which means that the media services encoded the asset but it is still not available for external user to access it. For that we need to create a streaming URL. In terms of streaming policy, for this demo we will select predefined clear streaming only. The streaming locator can also have time expiration. In this case the Azure portal is defaulting to 100 years. Leave the default option as is and hit add. So once the streaming locator is created, in the previous section, it will require you to start a streaming endpoint. So streaming endpoint was already created when you created a media services account, but it was stopped. So we'll go ahead and start the streaming endpoint. Once the streaming endpoint is started, make sure you click on change source and select your streaming endpoint. Once this is done, your player will load the video. So at this point, you can see that my sample video is being loaded. In order for external user to view or embed this video into other websites or other video players, you need a streaming endpoint URL. So scroll down and select the streaming location, show URLs. In this view, you have option to select HLS, dash, or smooth streaming endpoints. So in my case, I'll select smooth streaming endpoint. And then open Azure Media Player. This is an external site. Here you can test your streaming endpoints. So in the URL field, paste the URL that you copied from Azure portal. Make sure to remove HTTPS from the beginning and update player. So that's all. Using Azure Media Services, you can quickly encode a video and stream it for many users. Thank you.